Hey, what's up, everybody? FD Fisherman. Um, pretty sure you're surprised. You can actually hear me now. Um, I got my audio issues temporarily fixed. Um, but I'm just going to do a remake of the video I posted yesterday. I went ahead and deleted that one since I know it was really hard to hear me. <clears throat> um, but today is going to be a kind of unboxing reveal um, kind of thing with some new gear that I got. Um, I will do some later videos of the current setup and stuff I use now to fish with for my catfishing, my, my brim fishing. That's really about all I do. Um, I used to be big into bass fishing and I just kind of, it, it got a little too expensive for me. <clears throat> um, I'm also do a later pic, uh, video of my boat, how it's set up, what I use where in my boat. Um, but let's go ahead and get into it. <clears throat> right here, I got me a new fishing rod. It's a Luz. It's a Valor BG Speed Stick. Uh, it's a seven foot rod. Um, just over six feet. There's the, the tip right here. Um, speaking of the tip of the rod, that fluorescent green right there, I really like that. Um, I've seen rods before like that, but never paid no attention to them until I really got into catfishing. But uh, I'm excited to see how that works, like early in the morning when it's still dark or uh, late in the evening. Um, I mean, I'm gonna have lights, but it, it, I mean, that's gonna be ridiculously easy to see now. Um, it's a pretty heavy, I think it's a pretty heavy duty rod. It's pretty stout, if you ask me. Um, I like the, the handle here, how it's got the separated, I call it the separated grip, split grip, whatever you want to call it. Another thing that I really like, that little keeper right there. I think that is pretty sporty for your hooks or for your um, your leaders. You can take your hook off or your weight off and snap it right on there. I like that. That's pretty cool, in my opinion. Um, it's an open face, open face reel, flipping reel, whatever you want to call it. I've heard it called different things. A four to one gear ratio, Paul bearings. I like that. I have two or three other rods that have that same uh, ratio. It come it come pre pre spooled. Uh, with 240 yards of 15 pound test uh, monofilament, I do plan on taking that off. And uh, I got some uh, heavier line that I, I'll show you here in a minute. Um, I'm going to try and get this rigged up today because I want to try. I didn't make any promises, but I'm going to try to go fishing tomorrow. In the morning, it's going to be pretty chilly, but. Uh, from what I can see, I, I go, I fish a lot by the farmer's almanac. Um, that and that with a mixture of the weather. Um, I believe in it. I know a lot of other people believe in it. That's just me. Um, oh, another thing with this rod. Got this from Walmart. Not very expensive. Uh, it was like $30 or some change. Um, not bad. I'm not a expensive rod person. Um, I think this is one of the most expensive rods I've bought so far. Um, Zebco, Walmart Zebcos and Shakespeare's. I live and breathe by them. I love them. They've never done me wrong. Um, they're relatively inexpensive. Me particularly, just me, it's just me in my opinion. I'm not going to go out and buy a $60, $70, $100 plus dollar rod, $200. I know they can get up there. I've seen them. I know people that use them. More power to you. If that's what you like, that's what you like. I like the cheap stuff. It's easy to replace. I don't have to stress and like, holy crap, now I got to, you know, can't pay the light bill or something because I got to, you know, buy another rod. But one thing that's not new, this Zebco OmniFlex line. I love this. I've used this line for years and years and years before I ever started keeping track of what I had or what I was using. Uh, Zebco OmniFlex. It's a, uh, I call it the Walmart brand. I mean, it's, it's Zebco. It's not you no know, great value or whatever. <clears throat> um, eight pound test, 700 yards. That's good stuff. I like it. I've used it for years. I've used it. I used it when I did a lot of bass fishing. I used it on all my um, my light tackle, my <clears throat> my brim busters. Um, I do videos on those later too. On my brim busters, uh, in anything 
light I've used, not specifically just this reel or this roll. I've got three, three or four, I think three rolls of this type of line. I've got, I know I got eight pound, 15, and see the 20 or 25 pound reel that, or roll that I got. <clears throat> um, my granddaddy used this for years. That's where I picked it up from. This, he always used the, the Zebco Omniflex and the, uh, I forget which color box, but the spider wire for his catfish and rod. <clears throat> One thing new that I'm trying is the Strike King Contra, Contra 50 pound test. I wanted to get something big. Um, this is the biggest uh, test line that I have so far. It's got 150 yards. Um, it says it's featuring the spider wire spooling tool. Not sure what that means. Maybe it comes with something extra. I don't know, but we'll get into it. That's awesome. I like. I really like that. That's a game changer right there. I'm so. I'm so. I'm sold on this already. Never used this before. Never touched this line before or this product. But look at that right there. Suction cup. Put it on the wall or put it on the boat. Suction cup it down. I don't know about y'all, but there's been many times where I've held, had somebody get a pencil or a screwdriver, or uh, put a screwdriver in in, in a vise, and. Uh, Use line that or um, re-spool line that way on the reel. That, that's awesome. I tell you what, I'm sold on this stuff from now on. It wasn't it wasn't expensive. It was it was less than ten dollars. It was eight dollars and some change. I don't remember exactly what it was, but a uh, fifty pound test. It's green braided line. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, hundred fifty yards. Hundred. I don't know if y'all it's gonna focus or not for y'all to see that, but it's a hundred fifty yards. I'm just holding it back. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. That's pretty cool. I like that. I've, I ain't, I, I've never seen that before. That's pretty cool. I like that. Um, another thing I've used for years and years and years, Eagle Claw. I will always use them. I love Eagle Claw. They've, I've never had a hook break. I, I broke one. I broke a couple, just me being dumb. Um, I, on, with, with fighting the fish, I've had a couple hooks straighten, um, or if I call them one of them stump fish, you know. Um, <clears throat> but this is my primarily, this is my go-to for catfish. I call it the platinum hooks or the platinum pack, just because it up here is not blue. Most uh, eagle claw packs are blue, and these are the silver, or chrome, or platinum hooks, whatever you want to call them. They're not the normal gold hooks. Number seven, I will all, I will never use another type of hook. For catfishing, these laser sharp hooks, um, circle hooks, I love them. I've never, ever, ever lost a catfish on these. I've caught just one or two catfish in my day. Um, they they work great. I've never had many. I've had little to no issues with them. Um, <clears throat> but uh, Eagle Claw, if you want to sponsor me, hit me up. I appreciate it. I will, I will paint Eagle Claw on the side of my truck if y'all sponsor me. Um, <clears throat> anyway, these, uh, I grew up around these hooks, Eagle Claw, not specifically these big circle hooks. I mean, brim fishing, crappie fishing, you know, small, or pan fish, or what's the other one? Sunfish is uh, people up north call them. Um, use these a lot. Um, <clears throat> this is the second or third pack I've used or bought with these. Um, I've actually transferred from using my big catfish rods so much. I put, <laughs> I was nervous, but I put um, a catfish rig on some of my old uh, bass fishing poles, which are you know, five, five and a half, six foot uh, little open face reels. And uh, I got a, a push button reel. I don't like the, the bait caster so much just because I turn that thing into a bird's nest every time. You can put money on it, you'll win money off of me every time. I, I'm terrible with bait casters, any kind of bait casters. I mean, I could just toss it from here to the other side of the room and it'll bird's nest. But um, that uh, that's really all I got for today. Um, I'm trying to get some more uh, uh, content on my channel. 
try to get my subscribers up like subscribe comment please um, dislike if you think I'm doing something wrong uh, but please don't be rude just just comment and let me know what you think I could improve on I'd appreciate it I'm new at this I'm not the best at doing the um, <clears throat> the uh, editing and stuff like that I'm gonna try to learn I'm gonna try to get better at it um, I like to be able to do more do some live videos so tell your friends um, like subscribe um, uh, like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see y'all on the river. Thank y'all so much for watching, and uh, good luck fishing.